last time we had the silver packs two weeks ago was the bronze packs and today we got the gold packs welcome back to another nba live mobile monthly master pack opening with yours truly all right today you guys see it we got the gold packs all right don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel we are on the road to 430 by the end of this month surpassing 430 instead of you know getting to 430 i feel like we can surpass it all right as of the making of this all right we're getting close to the season the play-in is already under its way lakers versus pelicans for the seventh seed and then we got the warriors and kings for a second chance and hopes for possibly fighting and getting that eighth seed all right let me know in the comments who you guys are having um i don't know if you guys probably will see this when the plan happens it's probably going to be by the time the plan has officially completed um at least one of them i think the first one like i said is the lakers pelicans warriors kings i think that's already happening like by the time this they like, probably gonna be over so they're gonna have the seventh seed and the loser and the winner from both sides will play for eighth seed and then the next day will be the same thing but for the eastern conference we got miami and philly to get um the seventh seed and avoid Boston for pretty much two series if they do go far. And then we got the more irrelevant one, probably the most irrelevant, Bulls and Hawks. Yeah, pretty lame, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're probably not gonna even make it to the playoffs. It's okay though, cause you know, there's always next year, but the Bulls ain't really done much since Jordan and Derrick Rose, and I guess you could throw Jimmy Butler in 2017. And the Hawks, well, ever since that 2021 playoff run, it's been looking pretty questionable, I ain't gonna lie. like. We, we're still waiting for them to be the team. And it's looking like Trae Young is rumored to be getting traded. I don't know. But yeah, comment down below also who you think is going to be the 7-8 seed in the Eastern Conference. Uh, for me, I think the Lakers are going to be bold and actually go up against the uh, the Lakers. The Lakers and Nuggets are going to go into the uh, first round. I think the Lakers are bold enough to do it. And I feel like they have some sort of ability to do it. But, you know, Jokic is Jokic. And I don't know about Jamal Murray. Like, I know we, people question his ability to play in the playoffs. I don't know. Was those two years in uh, 2020 and um, 2023 really like that? I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a Laker thing. Um, hopefully the Lakers team also can show that this isn't the same team from last year because, you know, they, they've been struggling and they've also lost a lot of games to the Nuggets. So, I don't know. And the Warriors and Kings, I'm going to be honest, as much as I'm a Curry fan, I can honestly see the Kings really coming out on top, especially because like Clay's been inconsistent. Curry's not really doing much. And, you know, the team has been having a disappointing year. I know they have, like, a winning record, but they're, like, the 9-10 seed-ish, right? They should have been at least, for me, I, I thought they were going to be at least second round appearance, if not barely making the playoffs. I think I made a tweet saying they could, I couldn't be surprised if they missed the playoffs. So, the fact that I'm probably going to be right, and I can't believe I deleted that tweet, too. It sucks. I know I'm not, I've been talking about the NBA play -in, but uh, real quick, um, I know this is a monthly ma master pack opening. I'm really sorry I'm talking about the NBA dragging this on. Or I just want to rant and talk and, you know, we can get to the packs. A lot of these players aren't really that relevant. So I will be uh, reacting still, all right, while I'm talking over the video just to hope for the monthly master. Anyways, back to the play-in. Uh, yeah, like I said, the Kings, I could see them making it to the to the eighth seed game. I can't really see. I can see the Warriors doing it too, but I feel like the Warriors are not really good enough to do it. <laughs> Yo, it'll be funny what uh, happens afterwards because the meat is going to be really really going after clay thompson and the warriors because i know curry's all still gonna be up there but like clay thompson had not did not have a good season draymond really messed up you know you can argue that steve kerr did something curry had his his fair share right the teams had this fair share this team was pretty underwhelming for the most part but you know the season's coming to an end for them anyways early or not but yeah as for the eastern conference the Sixers and Miami Heat, oh my goodness, they have to fight for who's not playing against Boston. Now, I don't really believe Jimmy Butler is really that bold to beat Boston. I don't think he will beat Boston this year. I think Boston will overpower, kind of like how um, the Bucks were in 2021 to the Miami Heat after they went to the finals in 2020 in the bubble. I can't see the Miami Heat winning this one. If they do, I will put Jimmy Butler up there in top 30 all time just for just for delusion. All right, if anytime someone asks me to name me 30 players in an all-time list, I'm putting Jimmy Butler up there. You have my word. Even if, it, if I'm factually wrong, I'm going to bring up 2020 run, 2023 run, and if he beats the Boston Celtics. Because right now, it's Jalen Brunson is really a liability, like the weaker side. But I do feel like Jimmy, uh, Jalen Brunson will have like some sort of impact. Obviously, Julius Randle is also a big, big, big playoff dropper for that team. But I don't know if he's going to be playing. So 
it's going to be basically target Jalen Brunson and everybody else. Like Dante DiVincenzo has been doing well. OG Ananobi has been a really good pickup, right? Tom Thibodeau, he, he, he probably figured something out. I do feel like if uh, the Jalen Brunson does make it to the next round, he has to go up against either the, probably the Pacers, in my opinion. I do feel like the Bucks might get stunned in the first round because of Dame. I don't really trust Dame, especially because, you know, he lost pretty badly to Steph Curry in the first uh, no, conference finals. The way he went out and he lost to a Jokic team that had no Jamal Murray in 2021. The year that people were starting to have conversations of him being better than Curry for some reason after the bubble. I don't know. You guys are weird for that. But yeah. That's probably going to be it. As for the 9-10 seed in the East, nobody really cares. Like I said, whoever wins is probably going to lose. And whoever uh, Sixer, whoever loses in the Sixer uh, Heat game is probably going to play and beat them. I don't know. Tyrese Max is also another one I'm interested in because this is the first time he's going to be like a second option. He's usually been like a third option you know, under like maybe other players. And obviously because he was like a rookie his first few years. And then James Harden came into the scene. So it's going to be really interesting to see what he's going to do. I do feel like he will actually show some impact. I don't know if it'll be enough to actually do some damage in the playoffs. But if they do make it to the seven seed, I could see them pretty much doing really well. And probably going six, seven games with the Knicks. But I do feel like the Knicks could actually pull it out on top. Embiid, I don't know. He's not 100%. And we all know Embiid's not been that great in the playoffs. I mean, his most iconic moment was losing to the Raptors in Game 7. If you know what picture I'm talking about, I'm not going to put it, but you guys know which one I'm talking about. Um, as of right now, we are getting closer to the end of these pack opening. I've been ranting for a play-in game for so long. Uh, I'm not gonna, I might not do. A, I might do a live stream where I talk about NBA basketball and playoffs and maybe the playoff predictions. I've, I really don't know. So, yeah, uh, we stay tuned to my streams. I usually stream like Tuesday or Wednesday. And I'll probably drop this video on like Friday again. I don't know. Anyways, we are now going to be opening the monthly master select pack. All right. This is the moment of truth. Which NBA player will I be picking? Um, as you guys can see, we got Jason Kidd. I'm going to show you guys also the ratings and the stats. So you guys can take a little look at what you're missing out on. Or probably could have had if you didn't pick the player you wanted or could have gone. Or whatever you mean. All right. Next, we got Terry Rozier. All right. Stats all that good stuff and then finally just let's let's get there tim hardaway jr all right now the player i will be picking and this is mostly for fit and also boost and also what i need is tim hardaway jr yeah that's who i pick and with that that concludes all the monthly master packs for this march 2024 be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new also tap into the streams every tuesday or wednesday afternoon eastern time all right check out the videos on the screen these are the previous videos for the monthly master pack opens and with that being said i'm gonna see y'all next time